I guess. So what I got for you is I got the TMNT Shredder's Revenge Dimension Shellshock launch trailer for the Nintendo Switch. And I suppose with no further delay, let's go check it out. And I say, yay. Three, two, one. Here we go. Sweet, Nintendo Switch. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so does this DLC take place in, like, another dimension or something? I guess? I'm gonna guess so, because I don't know. Wait. So, do you, like, fight... You still fight the same guys, but... Wait. Wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? his name he was like some delivery boy oh, what was his name started like an s or something like Sim no it wasn't simon oh i know seymour who got turned into mutagen man i think that was his name because well because he wanted it in one of Shredder and Krang's little, um, little plans, you know, to once again cr recreate that mutagen that somehow mutated Bebop and Rocksteady and the Turtles, I think. I don't know. Wait. Okay, wait a minute. Seriously, is this like... Like a different planet or some sort of other dimension or something? I guess. I don't know. You guys tell me because I don't have a clue. Wait, so they even go back to the original comics of the Ninja Turtles? That's awesome. But yet, this game's supposed to be based on the 87 series of Ninja Turtles. Which is still awesome, by the way. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Dimension Shell Shock. New playable characters. So, like, what, you like Usagi Ujimbo? At least I think that's this character's name. Usagi Ujimbo. I think it's spelled U-S-A-G-I space Y-U-J-I-M-B-O. I think that's how you say his name, I think. Or how you spell it anyway. Uh-huh. Yep. Wait, Karai? Wait. Karai was never in the 87 series, was she? Or am I mistaken here? Karai didn't come along until the 2003 series, if I remember correctly. I think. Could be wrong, though. I don't know. What in the world? What does she have, like, some of Shredder's abilities? Some of Super Shredder's abilities? That's awesome. Oh, that's sweet, you guys. <laughs> New survival mode. Wait, so is this, like, a mode where you have to survive on, like, one life or something? I think? I'm not too sure. <laughs> yeah. Again, I'm not sure what where this where this DLC takes place. I'm not sure if it takes place in like a separate dimension 
or if it's like another another planet. I don't know. So if you guys know, do feel free to let me know. Yeah, because if any of you guys out there know, I'm all ears to hear it because I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue if this DLC takes place in like another dim another dimension or another planet or another time period or what. I don't know. Brawl across dimensions? Like, wait, do you go to like different dimensions of like the Ninja Turtles or something like that? I guess you do. Hey, I'm not against that, you know? Just keep it, just keep the game simple and don't make it too complicated. And that is fine. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Who's this dude? Oh, God, what was his name? I remember this guy. I remember this guy being in an episode of this of the eighty seven series. I think in season seven, I want to say, but I cannot for the life of me remember his name. I can't remember his name. Was like, was like Yuma or Yuji or Yuka. If you guys remember this character's name or know who he is, let me know because I don't have a clue who he is. <laughs> upgrade your character. Oh, I see. It's so like you get to like upgrade their upgrade their abilities or something? Is that what that means? I guess. I don't know. Okay. Mutate your greatest foes? Wait a minute. Oh. oh, yes. Wait. So you get to mutate into your greatest foes, yet you, yet you end up in an 8-bit version of New York. That is awesome. Exclusive character colors. So wait, you get to... So, Wait, wait, wait. So you get to choose, like, what? Different versions? Different, you know, color swap, color palettes for the turtles? And their allies? Is that it? So you get to choose, like, what? The original comics? Uh, the 87 series? 2003, I would think. 2012 palettes, I would think. I don't know. That's that's cool, man. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is sweet, you guys. Oh yeah. Oh, this is sweet, you guys. Wait, who's that dude with the glowing green eyes? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge Dimension Shell Shock. Yes. Oh, it's available now, guys. So if you wanna get so if you already have Shredder's Revenge, see how much this is, and I'd say if it's not too much, if it's like twenty five bucks or something like that, wait till it goes down in price and then pick it up. Okay? That's my recommendation. Yeah. So. So what do I give this trailer based on based on what what I saw in it? I give it about a. I'd say. Seven for presentation. Eight for being well done. A seven, you know, basically on, you know, basically how they, you know, try to incorporate, like, 
almost all the version of the Ninja Turtles that they could. Yeah, so what do I think of this trailer? It's well done. It's not bad. So would I recommend picking this up right away? No. Would I recommend picking it up at some point? Yes. Because, like, if it's like 25 bucks, which I'm thinking it is, I say wait until it goes down in price, you guys. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So, if you guys did enjoy this reaction, and I hope you did, why don't you go ahead and, um, you know, leave a little like on the video. Share your thoughts and share your thoughts and leave suggestions and leave game trailer suggestions for me in the comments down below. Um, let's see. Subscribe if you haven't done this already and share this video around if you want to. It's your right to do so. And guys, till next time. Later, fam squad.